So the current system I'm running is an interior system through a garage attic. Um, the two options we have at doing system is our interior systems or exterior systems. Uh, one of the main advantages of running a system into the garage is aesthetics. Another main reason is going to be the exposure to the elements. Um, when you're running fan in the pipe on the outside of the house in the middle of Illinois in the wintertime, um, it's always going to pose a risk to the fan being so cold and icing up possibly. All right, I'm now going to install the pipe into the top burn core of the fan. All right, the pipe is now secure with the coupling at the top, and I will be getting on the roof to seal up a roofing boot. system monitoring device, it's called a manometer, it measures the static pressure generated by the fan. This number on the chart correlates to a chart we have in our truck. It can actually tell us how many cubic feet of air we're moving from underneath this floor. The other good thing about this device is it lets the homeowner know that the fan is working. If a homeowner ever sees their manometer zeroed out, that usually means for some reason that fan has stopped. As soon as I put that back in, it will start pulling again. And it's showing our, our static pressure at one water column inch. Yep, now we're up on the roof. Um, I just installed my roofing boot for the transition where the gray pipe went through from the white PVC. Um, I am currently wrapping up the installation of the roofing boot. And I will be cutting off the pipe to height to meet code. Um, what I have here at the top of the pipe is called a critter guard. Um, I just glued this on and it has a half inch steel mesh screen on top to prevent any kind of critters or debris from falling in the pipe once the fan's turned on. Now that the piping is all connected um, and the pipe is run from the floor in the basement through the roof and the roof is sealed, um, this will complete the installation.